Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have Willow Nook box here. This is really exciting because I haven't opened a Willow Nook box in a couple of seasons and I'm stoked to be sharing their winter box. This winter box goes into January. So I wanna say, even though it's a full spoiler, it isn't something you have to order before Christmas. So if you are like me and you're waiting on the old budget to reset a little bit, this is a box you can treat yourself to even in January. So this is the Willow Nook Box Winter 2022-2023. It is a quarterly subscription at $104 per quarter. They do offer prepaid discounts though. Free US shipping. I have two coupon codes for you. So pink 10 will get you $10 off your first box in a subscription for new subscribers. But they also have pink 15 to shop in the online shop, which is cool. This box has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items inside of which I have not read the descriptions on, so they are a surprise for me as well. And this box starts shipping late December to give you a heads up. I did talk to them and they did want me to share that they have a new website or back into the website or something of that sort. But basically, all subscriptions from September and earlier. So if you are a current subscriber and you subscribed up prior to September of 2022, you are not gonna auto renew. The winter box requires a new sign up even if you were a subscriber before. So that's kind of like my official announcement. Everyone is gonna sign up for this. If you are in question as to what your status is, shoot them an email, they'll get back with you. They do have some holiday boxes available. And what we have loved from the beginning when we started opening this box is they source at least one item directly from a small business which is great, that's here in the US. And then they do this like mixed media art print that has a recipe included with it. They've done that since the beginning as well. And it's a seasonal lifestyle box. They send home decor, home goods, self care. And we've seen some really great things like my apron, that I, the apron, I love it more than any apron I've ever gotten is from this box. We also got this fabulous candle. Um, just a really good row oh, some gloves, like little half gloves. We've gotten a good variety of items. So this is a fun box to give as a gift or to give to yourself. So full spoilers on the winter box. Okay, we have, oh yeah. So there is a note from the owner, Carissa, and then what's inside the box. I don't want to peek at that. We can loop back to that. Ooh, okay. Let's pull these two items out together. So I see a blooming flower tea and a tea glass. So here are the two items on top, y'all. Can you hear that? It is raining, literally like in the 50s or 60s, it just got to 60 and raining outside. I have no idea why the lawn crew for the neighbor suddenly had to come today. I thought today was a surefire film day. There'll be no background noise, but no, we're just going to ignore this. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. That cannot be pleasant to be out in that cold rain attempting to mow a yard. Okay. This thing is swanky. So I'm noticing it says all in one. I'm not a tea drinker, so I hope I get this right. Well, I mean, I do drink tea. It's just in a, a Yeti coffee mug. I've never had like a sophisticated tea set up. So this is pretty cool. So it says that there is a tea glass. There is a tea glass. Whoop, that's the one that's not in English. Let's try this again. The glass filter and then the glass lid that goes with this. So you take it like this right here. You put your tea inside, you pour hot water over it, you put the lid on top and let it steep. Then you take both of these out and you're ready to go. That is pretty cool. So this is like an all-in-one that you could keep at your office desk. That is really, really cool. And then she did give us a tea here. Blooming flower tea a silver needle green tea with marigold jasmine and globe amaranth. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to open it because I want to show it to you because it looks like here. I don't want to tear the instructions because I'm going to need those. Yes. Okay. 
It is a flowering tea bowl. So I'm gonna hold these like this so that you guys can see them. And it says, steep flowering tea ball in hot water at least three to four inches deep and watch the beautiful flower bloom. The flower should fully open within 10 minutes. One tea flower can be reused up to three times within 24 hours. Okay, let me go wash the cup and get some hot water. Let's do it. Okay, so we have our glass. I'm gonna take one flowering tea bowl and put it inside. And then it says to pour hot water over it. Okay, I'm not a tea maker. This is like a full on experience for me. Ooh, I might not have gotten enough water. Let me go get a little bit more water. Okay. Looks good to me. Put the lid on top. I'm just gonna slide it right over here. There we go. And we'll see what it does. Wouldn't mind starting my morning with some tea. Okay, what do we have next? Whispering Willow, hand and cuticle salve and chai. This is such perfect timing for this. We just were in dry season, and as much as I love my fingernails, you guys know I am all about them. I feel like I am constantly putting cuticle oil on and they're just cracking more and more. I haven't tried a cuticle salve, so maybe the oil isn't what I need. Maybe I need something thicker. This is what the inside looks like. It smells exactly like chai, and since I happen to be steeping tea, it's really like the perfect time to be smelling chai. I would like to know, are you a chai fan or are you not a chai fan? I think it's a love-hate thing I'm coming to discover. I don't typically drink a traditional chai tea. Not against it, I just, I don't know why I don't. But I love to get drinks mixed with chai. Like, whether it's at Starbucks or at a local coffee shop or with ice cream. Oh, I love it. All right, so, let's see. You can see it starting to open. It's a little bit bigger, it's expanding. It's really pretty, it's so like earthy looking and we're starting to see the colors move through the tea. Okay. It, ooh, okay, I won't read it out loud, I'll show it to you first. We discussed this in my last video I just released. I mask. This is a weighted adjustable lavender eye mask. So you can see here that this adjusts. And this also has a zipper pouch on top so that you can pull your lavender insert out. And you have the insert here and you can wash the mask itself and then put your lavender back in. This also has a zipper pouch on it. So at the point where your Lavender starts to run out and it will start to run out at some point. You can replace it. Love this. I get a lot of mask. I think this might be the first one where they've actually had it set where you can replace the insides, which is very, very smart. As someone who struggles with rosacea on my cheeks, being able to wash these frequently is just, it's a must. If I don't, you can tell very quickly and get a breakout. It doesn't matter how well I wash my face. So huge thumbs up for quality and just, I don't know, usefulness. This is a very useful practical sleep mask, not one you're gonna have to throw away in a couple of months. Okay, we're doing another tea check-in. It's really starting to expand now. Like, can y'all see it? There's like all sorts of pieces poking out on it. This is really cool. I have made tea before. I have never done a tea ball before. And this cup is Seriously, uh, if you drink tea, a cup you would want at your desk. Look, I mean, it's just doing its thing. You could rinse it, put it back in your drawer. Okay, what else we got in here? Laura's Raw Honey, whipped honey with lavender. I love naturally flavored honeys. I love them. You can put them in your tea. I personally want to eat them across a really great cheese. I love a great cracker cheese and some honey. And in here, you can see this. Let me turn it around. Look, you can see the raw bits of lavender in there. 
So I am very intrigued because the packaging on this looks very homemade. Packaging on this looks very homemade and as does this. The sleep mask, um, no, this one doesn't look so much homemade even though I think the sleep mask is awesome. So I'm wondering how many small business source items is in this box. We'll look in a minute because I don't want to spoil everything so I want to be able to open all this first and then loop back. What is this? Flatties handcrafted flat candle. A handcrafted decorative candle, drip resistant, scentless, smokeless, self extinguishing with a steel base included. Create a desirable mood and inspire yourself and personalize your home with this gift. Who has ever seen these before? I have never seen this before. When I was opening it, I saw the wicks, but I honestly still thought it was a chocolate bar that was made to look like a candle. So how do you burn it? This is what I've got to figure out. This is what's, okay. Oh, I think I slide. So here's what the back looks like. So I think that I, like that. Then you put that down and you hook your candle to it. Wait, I, I might be doing that wrong. Do you slide it on? Yes, you slide it on. What am I doing wrong? Why can I not slide mine on? I'm feeling kind of silly. Oh, you slide it on this direction. I was trying to slide it on like that. And I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Maybe I should read the instructions. Then you set your candle in like this and it burns straight down. So let's just scoot it over here by our tea. So it's scentless. So you guys who struggle with allergies and headaches and different triggers that come from all the stuff that goes in scents, this is your candle. Okay, I lit it. Let's see what it does. Our tea is looking ultra fabulous. It's really floated to the top, but look how much it's opened. It's gorgeous and there it does look like a bloom. It's gorgeous. Okay. What else is in here? Oh, we got a sticker. That's cute. This is crazy cool. This is actually like wood carved or wood ingrained. The Bumble and Birch 120 page journal. It's sustainable and handmade. How cool. So that's like a cutout look. And then the pages are blank inside, but they put a bookmark. So here's a bookmark from Willow Nook Box inside. Proudly handcrafted in the USA from sustainably sourced materials. This is what it looks like. And then you can just slide your bookmark in. So look, this is how they had it. And you can mark your page like that. How cool. Oh my gosh. That's who designed it. Very, very cool. So this is absolutely a small business US made item. The Blooming Flower Tea Pack from Dora Tea, six bucks. The all-in-one glass with glass filter and lid from Creno, C-R-E-A-N-O, $23. The Whipped Honey with Lavender Handmade from Laura's Raw Honey, $5. The Snowy Cardinal on Pine Branch Flat Candle, also handmade, $18. The Starry Mountain Wood Journal, also handmade, $30. The Chai Handy Cuticle Salve, also handmade, $13. The Lavender and Flaxseed Eye Mask, $30. And then we have our print still. So we had several small business handmade items in this box, which this is what they have done 
so good on from the very beginning is sourcing those small business unique items. Okay, I was like, I don't know if there's anything on there. This is a family recipe for Anginetti cookies. Who knows what those are? I wonder if I've like eaten them before and didn't realize it. I didn't know the name. They look, if they look like that, then they look familiar. So you can frame this and put this in your kitchen and you can leave it in your frame in your kitchen or in your clip or hanging on a pots and pans wall until the next quarter, we'll just send you another art print. But this has flour, baking soda, butter, oil, orange juice, sugar, nine eggs, Gosh. confectioner sugar, water, lemon extract, and then sprinkles. My kids would love these. Oh my gosh, and it has an icing and a cookie that you make. Very cool. Our tea looks so, so good. I am so impressed. Let me pull this out so we can look at it. I haven't actually been watching the time, so I don't know if this has been in <laughs> the right amount of time. But this is what our bloom looks like after being in there. So I can leave this in here, it said, and I can use it up to two more times today at my leisure. It is supposed to be in there for 10 minutes. I wore it about 10 minutes. Let's see. It smells really good, very light. I need to let it sit a little bit longer, but it's very, very good. I don't know how to identify tea scents, so it does say, it's silver needle green tea with marigold jasmine and globe amaranth. Uh, it is very light and a very earthy flavor. So this tea, I would not add anything to it. I am a purist when it comes to tea. Occasionally, if I'm doing like more dessert based or like a pumpkin spice tea, then I start to put things in it. Oh, well, not even then necessarily because then the pumpkin spice flavor is so strong that I don't want to ruin it. But with a very earthy based tea, I just, I just want to taste the tea as it is. Yep, it needs a little bit longer. So I'm gonna put this guy back in, like so, and let it sit for a little bit longer. And then the candle, let's see if I can move it without like burning my hand off. So it has not dripped at all, none. So like, let me flip the back around. And I'm even moving it, you guys. You would think it'd be dripping everywhere with me moving it. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay, I am digging that majority of the items in this box are handmade. I love this note from Carissa. She gives us how to use your winter box and just really kind of says, goodbye 22, let's go 23. So it's gonna be a lot of fun and I have to say, I have had such a wonderful 2022. I feel like we have had crazy hurdles with different boxes, but many of our boxes had an opportunity to grow and develop in ways as the economy pivoted and changed. We've had so many boxes do such a great job of truly listening and cr creating and cultivating communities that we love. I just feel like we are so blessed, you guys, and we get to meet these amazing makers. I'm just so thankful that we are here and hanging out and getting to do this. Will and Fox, once again, Great job. I love everything in here and I love your focus for small business. Okay, you guys, we are seriously wrapping up 2022. As in, this might be my final video for 2022. Well, there's one more video for sure coming. But we are about to hit pause. This is where I go and spend time with my family. So I will be looping back to share more with you what's happening for the rest of the year, moving into 2023, because we have some fabulous things coming in 2023. If you have not already, subscribe to my channel. That'll have you first on deck for everything that's gonna be popping up in 2023. But if you wanna follow along a little more on the everyday, I am taking a social media break as a whole. Um, but you can hit me up on Instagram. Here's my handle. I do pop up every once in a while and just say hi and show the kids and Jonathan and I hanging out if you want to follow me over there. I hope that you are having an absolutely blessed December. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye, y'all. Look at my flow. Oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad we didn't turn the camera off. You guys. Yeah. Can you see there's a legit flower in there?
Can you see it on your side, John? Yeah. There is a, I thought flowering tea mint, it just opened up. I almost turned the camera off just then. So this is a, it's a marigold. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen this? No, that's cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 